Hi guys, welcome back. So today's video is about this discovery section here on Family Search. Um, more specifically, it's about Picture My Heritage. Um, but if you want to know more about any of these other sections here in the discovery section, um, I have done videos about them and they will be linked in the description box below. But today we are going to focus on the Picture My Heritage. Um, so first things first, to get here to the discovery section on Family Search, you're going to have to type the web address in. You're just going to type familysearch.org forward slash discovery and it should get you here to the discovery section here on Family Search. Um, you will have to be logged in to um, see most of these other sections, um, but if you aren't logged in, it will just have, I think, a few sections shown, and then if you click on them, they'll be like, please log in for more information. Um, but if you truly want them to work, you'll have to be logged in. But once you come here to the discovery section, then you'll want to click on the section you want to view. So today's case, it will be Picture My Heritage and it will take you to that section of the discovery section. So let's click on Picture My Heritage. So this is the Picture My Heritage. Um, so first off, it is showing you a bunch of pictures and at the very bottom of each picture, it'll say what country that picture goes for. So this is English. This is what English people generally wore back in the day. Americans or white Americans used to dress like this back in the day. Same with Irish people, ancient Romans, Philippines, East Africa, Chinese, um, let's see, Polish, Japanese, Italian, Samoan, Welsh, West Africa. So they have all these countries with their traditional garb or traditional clothing, however you want to call that. So it's kind of cool to go through and see all these and see what they all look like. So if we come up here to the top, it says here is where your last name is found in the family search shared tree. So in the big giant family search tree, they have looked up my last name or my married last name. <laughs> 30% um, of my last name is from England or English. 7% um, of my last name is found in America. And 1% is found Irish, which is actually really kind of funny that it's only 1% is Irish or Ireland. Considering if you look up my last name, the origin of it is Irish, at least they say it's Irish, and then it migrated to England. So I guess we just don't have the original root of my last name, but that's kind of interesting. It's kind of cool where they show you where your last name is found in the family search tree. Like, that's really cool to me to see there and be like, okay, I'm mostly English or my last name is mostly found in England and then America and then a little bit in Ireland and none in these other countries, <laughs> um, which is interesting and cool. Okay, so if you guys have noticed, all the pictures are of males. Um, that's because up here at the top, it has the males highlighted. So if you want to see um, what the females dressed or their traditional garb is for each of these countries, um, you'll want to click on the female icon. So now it's showing us the females. Um, it's still going to have the same percentages because, well, obviously that doesn't change, but the pictures are going to change because now we're looking at females. So here's what the English ones look like, American, Irish, Chinese, Bible. Hmm. That's new. Canadian. Uh, Korean, Italian, Puerto Rican, Russia. Um, oh, they have a bunch of different countries because now they have Zimbabwe. Oh, that's interesting that they have different ones. That's kind of cool. See, now you can see what the traditional female clothing was for 
each country. So yeah, that's yeah. I find it really cool to actually just look at these photos because it's just so cool to see what each country wears and how different it is from one to another. Um, so as you saw, these ones are all female. If you want to see a mixture of male and female, you'll want to click on the last icon that shows a picture of a male and a female. So this is actually kind of showing more family group photos, but it's showing you what males and females wore for that time frame. Also, if you have noticed, they are not showing countries. They're just showing you traditional, old-fashioned, original photos throughout time. And you can view them for all different cultures. So this is kind of cool to see all of these photos. I mean, I guess some of them are not as traditional photos, but still kind of cool. Yeah, same with like the Native American. They aren't kind of traditional, old-fashioned photos. But it's still kind of cool to go through and see all of these photos throughout time for different cultures. Okay, so I'm back here at the male's photos um, because I kind of forgot to show you guys something really, really cool and really important about this section, about this um, picture my heritage section. So with each one of these um, cultures, you can click on one or any of them and, and it is now brought up the photo, but now it's faceless, and it's actually going to ask you to be able to use your camera on your computer, or if you're on your phone, your phone, and it wants to take a picture so it can insert your face in the photo. So you can see yourself in German clothing, or American, or whatever culture you so choose. Um, once you put your photo in, you can click on this big circle, and it will have you retake a photo or change the brightness and contrast of your photo. So you can play around and do that. And then once you click done, it will show your photo with the whole outfit and not just your head. And then you can choose to download the photo or go back and choose another photo. I'm going to go back. Um, the same goes for the females. Um, so we're here in the female section. If I choose like Canadian, Canada, um, once again, I can take a photo of myself, insert it in, click the little dot, retake a photo, change the brightness or the contrast of it, click done, and see my photo with that clothing on, with the original Canadian clothing on. Isn't that cool? I think this section is so cool. Okay, let's go back. So here is the male and female section, and this one's kind of a little different. Actually, it's a lot different. So you can click on a photo. So you can click on a photo, and you can see that now it's got little green circles pulsating around faces. And you could be like, I want to be this lady. Ooh, and I clicked on her face. Now it's going to say, yeah, I blocked the camera. I know I did. Um, but I could take a picture of myself, put her right there, retake a photo, change the brightness and the contrast, be done, and see myself inserted into this photo. Um, I don't know if you can do multiple pictures added in or multiple faces added in, so like if you want to do a family photo. I don't know if you could do like one person at a time and insert their photo in. I haven't really tried. You guys could try, like you could have your photo put in and then click on another face. Yeah, it lets you bring up another face. You could try it. I'm pretty sure it would work. But I wouldn't count me on that. I'd be like, okay, add another thing, done. Do another face. Take a picture, insert that picture, done. And then you could just like insert your whole family into an old fashioned photo. That would be cool if you could do that. I really hope you could. That would be interesting. Anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it was helpful and you guys learned more about this new section in the discovery section of Family Search. 
uh, it's a really cool new section where you can learn about learn about traditional clothing in each culture or section of the world and learn where your last name is where your last name is more common in the giant family search tree and then having fun um, inserting your own face into these photos and kind of photoshop your own face in I think this would be really cool and fun if you had kids for your elementary age group and have them learn about family history or learn about cultures and just have fun sticking their face in in a traditional garb. I think they would enjoy that so much. Um, I'm going to help you guys take the time and opportunity to um, enjoy this new section on the discovery section of Family Search. Um, and if you guys have any questions, please comment below. And I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. If you guys have any suggestions on anything else I should film, please also comment below. And I hope you guys all have a beautiful week. Bye.